welcome back to my channel. It's your girl AZ Neil Williams. How are y'all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay, guys, so today was the episode two of The Real Housewives of Lagos. But before we get into that, yes, guys, so yesterday Rick Ross is in, was in Lagos. I don't know if he's still in Lagos, but he had a show in Lagos. I mean, there were lots of um, artists that performed. David O was there, T. Was Savage was there. And guess what? Lots and lots of celebrities, including your ex big brother and I judge housemates, were there. Boma was there, Emmanuel was there. Cross was there, Angel was there, it was a star studded show. Yes, guys. Now, away from all that, it looks like your girl, Lick Her Rose, has landed herself a major deal with Infinix, even though they've not announced it yet. But from this video we saw on Twitter, it looks like she is going to be the latest brand ambassador for what I think is um infinite hot series yes, guys. A very big congratulations to her. Yes, so away from all that. Let's go into the Real Housewives of Lagos. Now, today was the episode two. Uh, it was basically about Iyabo Ojo and her beach house and, you know, hosting the ladies at the beach house. We still have not seen the sixth um, housewife, Miriam. I mean, for all the fuss she made at the premiere at the red carpet, um, I was thinking that by now we should be seeing her. Do you remember the scene where, you know, Prince of Big Brother Niger Lockdown was interviewing her and she was like, I'm part of the housewives. Go do your homework. I'm like, chill. We really don't know you like that. And to, um, episode two, we still have not seen her. But anyway, Sha, we still gonna wait because we are patient people. Anyway, so this um episode started with Tiana, you know, I'm um, talking with Laura. Laura visited Tiana at her boutique. Um, she wanted a dress or um yeah, a dress, and they were talking, and then Tiana was like, What was wrong with you during the party? You remember the party where Tiana unveiled her baby stuff? And she was like, Oh, nothing, nothothing. And I mean, Tiana was not feeling it. Tiana was like, I mean, if there's anything off, I mean, you should say it. And Tiana was like, Okay, are you coming for a but or just beach house, whatever that she was inviting them. And she was like, No, that you know, that Yabo Joe is not her friend, that it's only Tiana that is her friend. That I, I told you guys that thing that Chema Good Hair said about her just being her client and not her friend. I kind of it triggered her, right? So she was like, No, and Yabo Joe, um, sorry, and um, Toy was like, Okay, try and come, just try. And she was like, mm, She's gonna try, but at that moment, I knew, okay, she's not gonna come. So from there, we saw Yabo Joe and her daughter. Yes, guys, her daughter. Um, it's about to celebrate her 21st birthday and since her daughter was 16 she had this um boutique which her mom has been handling for her but now you know she's ready to take over the boutique and um her mom wants to travel with her to london to turkey you know to show her the ropes on how to manage a business then they talked a bit about her boyfriend yeah, but Joe is a typical African mom. She was like, ah, <laughs> you're gonna marry Ellie. And the daughter was like, okay, let's say 24, 25. She was like, no, 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 no. 24 years old, you're gonna marry. I'm like, ah. <laughs> One thing about Nigerian reality shows, you are going to see the African mom syndrome. We saw it with Messi's um reality show. We saw it with did we see it with Erica's reality show? Not really, but we really saw it with um Mercy's reality show. And now we are seeing it again. Nigerian moms always showing themselves wherever they go. This marriage thing is a huge thing for them. And she was like, Oh, she wants to carry her grandchild. I'm like, ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, guys, you know, they discussed about it. I love the way she and her daughter relate. You know, I love the way, you know, um, they are open. Her daughter is open to her. I mean, this is something that in most African homes, we really do not see. But anyways, kudos to her and her children. So the next scene we are seeing, you know, um, she all dressed up, you know, about to head out to the beach house. And then she called Tiana and Tiana was like, oh, I'm in front of your house. And she didn't believe Tiana at first. Then Tiana shows up at her house, looking all gorgeous, you know, wearing all the bikini, whatever. Then they go to pick Choma good hair. And Choma was like, oh, she's in front. Like, one thing Choma kept saying about Iyabo just, you know, hosting them at the beach house. Oh, I'm impressed. Like, she didn't really rate Iyabo Joe. She was like, um, 
in my head i'm thinking maybe she thinks she's some kind of local actress and everything like that anyways guys that being said you know Iabodja took this party van picked all of them and then they went on to the beach house they took a jetty or a ferry or whatever it is they took and they went there that place is so beautiful anyways now that being said you know they got to their rooms and then something strikes me again Chima says oh if somebody else has gotten a bigger room she would have been angry because i mean all of them got you know the same size of room and she was like if anybody got a bigger room she would have been angry or something i'm like babe chill it's not you i mean the host has every right to have the bigger room which one is this for every anybody has a bigger room you're gonna be anyways anyways <laughs> so you know they check out their rooms and then um there is this dinner thing, you know, that Yabojo invites them to. They were, in my opinion, I feel like they were totally overdressed. But I mean, <laughs> it's fashion. I mean, when you have fashion killers in the show, what do you expect? They all come looking so beautiful. I love Tiana. At some point, her, you know, um, what they call those kind of dresses that you can actually shift all the shape shifter kind of dress i don't know their names you know it was very uncomfortable for her that she had to like you know ask chama to help her um remove it and all that then they start talking asking questions oh what was you know something they the thing that somebody has said about you that really hurt you and all that they asked that you know and then um caroline said oh because they said i married my husband for money i mean how would that they even say that because when i married my husband i didn't even know his network <laughs> network when she says that the look on choma yapo and tiana's face was the same look i had on my face like girl stop <laughs> said in her monologue like how can you say you don't know the net worth of dan juma like seriously anyways guys anyways now that's what she said now of course they have this pool party thing iyabojo is a case <laughs> iyabojo is me i am iyabojo when it comes to swimming like <laughs> me and water we have a very love-hate relationship so yeah was just screaming him your and all that but last last shot they helped her and they had fun then the next day they had the brunch which i felt also they were kind of overdressed for but mm, it's a fashion killer show they had brunch and chama kept saying oh i'm impressed i'm impressed i'm impressed i'm like okay we've had we've heard it then they had this dance classes where they were winding their ways then they came they had this game when i saw that game the point of no return i'm like ah this game mm -mm 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 -mm. nothing good ever comes out of this game <laughs> do you remember this same game is that game where you whisper something to ask a question like um whisper the question to someone's ear then the person will guess the answer by calling the person the he or she feels food the bill. For example, I can, you know, um, pick someone, whisper, okay, who do you think is the coolest person here? And the person will say, oh, I think it's Mr. A or Mr. B. And it can go south very quick. Do you also remember that this is the same game they were playing in Big Brother Niger House that caused the major fight that happened between Pere and White Money? Have you forgotten? Well, I have not. It's the same game. Anyways, um, they started asking. Then there was this one they asked and they said, Laura, I'm like, and there was this one that almost caused issues between Toyin and Caroline because I knew that Toy um Toyin wanted to say Caroline, but she later said, "Um, oh, it's Iya Bojo." Because the question was, who do you think is gonna snatch another person's husband here and not give a hoot about it? And Toyin said Iya Bojo. We all know it was Caroline she was making reference to. But anyways, anyways, that happened. And what else? Um did they do it was fun they had so much fun you know at the event so it was basically um yeah that was basically what happened in today's episode but um next episode is gonna be fire because apparently iabojo had a discussion with laura yes guys remember laura did not go on the trip now um had a discussion with laura and laura was trying to get iabojo to her side and told iabojo some things that oh if she was there there are some things that caroline said that she would have gotten up and given caroline a dirty slap just like bianca did <laughs> anyways guess what iabojo went ahead to tell chioma and chioma was like had they been she did that she would have gotten up to slap her and somehow somehow Iyabojo told Caroline and when they were like in this dinner setting Iyabojo brought it up and then Laura was like I mean you should have edited something else it's something I told you in confidence and Iyabojo was like I don't owe you that loyalty I really don't owe you that loyalty so I told her what you said and then Caroline is fuming and then Laura was like who are you Caroline I'm not afraid of you and all that I'm like ah voila 
anyways, we're still not seeing our sixth um, uh, housewife, our sixth Maria. We're still not seeing her. But anyways, we await her glorious entry into the show. Did you want to show? You can check it out on Showmax. I don't know if they will still show it on DSTV. The last time they showed it on, um, I think on Saturday, DSTV channel 153 and 151, 9 p.m. That is uh, West African time. I don't know if they will do that this week. Let's watch and see. But all in all, it was a beautiful show laid back. But I'm still waiting for the basketballs and all the drama that will happen the next episode that's it from me thank you guys so very much for being part of my channel if you've not already subscribed kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video until i come your way again i remain your darling girl az Neil williams have yourself a beautiful wonderful day ahead bye guys